Okay, Bradley, coming into camp, a few observations. You're a traditional snapper. That means you maintain eye contact with your target from start to finish throughout the snap motion. Uh, that's what I do, too. You also, you're right-handed, correct? You, you have a staggered stance. And you know what, if that works for you, that's absolutely fine with me. If you're, if you're not drifting the ball to one side or feeling like you're not getting maximum power, that's great. Some people like to square the toes off to the line. Whatever works for you and gives you best results is fine with me, okay? Um, the things we saw coming in that we do think we need to do some work on, number one is you were kind of underextended, meaning that you didn't have a full arm extension for a maximally powerful acceleration and throw, uh, acceleration of the football by throw, by throw motion, okay? Um, your heads dip down to the ground. And we've talked about this head to tail platform being like a teeter totter, except it's more like those big industrial cranes that, that do things at industrial sites. Your center of gravity is not right in the center, the fulcrum not in the center like a teeter totter, but it's offset back towards the rear. It's actually where the belly button is. And so therefore that longer, lighter front end has to be well extended by aligning the spine to counterbalance that shorter, heavier haunches region where you have a lot more mass and muscle and weight, basically, okay? Uh, when you dip your head down to the ground, you just cut off 25% of what's in front of the center of gravity to help counterbalance the back end. So your balance is gonna be compromised, your leverage will be less, which means you can be less powerful, and uh, therefore everything just cascades from one to the other. You're not being as, as good a snapper as you could be. So what, one thing we're gonna wanna do is take these neck vertebra and by one of two techniques, we're going to want to get the neck vertebra aligned with the rest of the spine. You can either pull your head up, okay, to get it in line by, and keep your chin tucked to your chest. Be sure you don't pull so hard that you create tightness or tension in the neck and shoulders. Any tightness and tension is going to slow you down. It's going to, it's going to, you're going to have to fight through that during the motion so your snap again won't be nearly as powerful as it could be. The better way probably to do it just by habit is once you approach the ball and set up, just tuck your chin to your chest and then lower your neck a little bit if you need to to see your target. That's probably the most effective way to get yourself in the right position, okay? Um, on top of that, uh, you know, because your head's dipped down and you're underextended, what that really is telling us is you're a little low on the front end. Your, your head and shoulders are too close to the ground. That's constricting your operating room under the torso. You don't have enough space to be as, as powerful and aggressive as you could be. So we're gonna wanna do something up there, which is essentially bring your head and shoulders an inch or two higher off the ground. Okay? Give yourself some space, open up the stance, improve the arm extension by moving further vertically from the football. Back end wise, you're a little tall in the saddle as we like to call it, and that means two things. One is you don't have quite enough knee bend, and as a result, your rear is kind of high in the air relative to the front. Okay? Now we talked about shoulders to hip slope, and we talked about the fact that the ball will fly back to its target pretty much at the same angle of that slope. So if you're low on the front end, high on the back end, you have what we call a steep slope, you're predisposing yourself to throw high. Because you're underextended, there's a real chance you're gonna be hanging onto the ball far past the legs. And once you get past the legs, the only way the arms can move is in an upward direction. Not what a long snapper needs to be doing. We need to be releasing as we break the plane of the legs at the bottom of the stroke, essentially, like golf, okay? Any questions on that? Makes sense to you? Okay, all right. You tend to be all arms, and that's okay, but the more we can get you set up right, the more the legs and the torso can be brought to bear in the snap, the more powerful and accurate you're going to be. There's not a, a, there's not a position in the game of football that doesn't involve everything from the tip of the toes to the top of the cranium. Okay, want to make it an all-body kind of thing. Um, so the last thing we had is you're fall, falling forward at the finish a little bit, so you're not perfectly balanced to start with. That's a pretty quick fix. And because of that habit of falling forward, Sometimes you jab at the follow through. You, you're not finishing it, which means that your accuracy is compromised. We get you stable and balanced and optimize the setup. You're gonna be able to finish that. You're gonna be able to throw harder and harder without compromising accuracy and just be much better, okay? Hop in here, let's go ahead and run you through. First thing we're gonna do is three-step you. This is the greatest coaching technique for long snapping that I know, because we can fix anything. You ready? First thing I'm gonna do is pull you forward. Go ahead and lean on the ball. That's gonna get knee bend to 90 degrees or less, which is where we wanna be. Straighten the back and fully extend the arms. Next thing I'm gonna do is raise you up, maximizing operating room under your torso. Last thing I'm gonna do is push you back towards your target, not down, okay, but back towards the target into the hips so the heels touch the ground, knees are over the toes, and you're solid on your feet. Now that should feel comfortable. It should feel pretty good, does it? Give it a good hard two-handed throw. 
Nothing much wrong with that. The setup's outstanding. Now, have you been having trouble with release and spiral? No. Okay, maybe we just had you down too long. So let's let's do that one more time a little faster, make sure everything's looking good. But right there, very athletic, very good long snapping stance. That'll allow all your athletic ability to really shine through in this position. One, two, three. Comfortable? Looking pretty good. Now I would like to see more aggressive. With the right form and technique, I've said this before, you can be as aggressive snapping a football as you would be firing out to block or tackle an opponent or girlfriend. Got a girlfriend? Uh, okay. We're on YouTube here, so I'm joking. Um, that looks pretty good. Now let me just show you how I adjusted you without doing the three-step, and, uh, and then we'll let you do one more. Let me see that ball too, Mason, if you don't mind. Thank you, sir. Long snapping will get you a girlfriend. Women love good snappers. So Bradley, even ugly, burned out old guys like me with no hair and no muscles, there's hope for us, okay? All right, come on, let's go. All right, so what we essentially did, you were low on the front end, which was creating a lot of bend in the throwing arm. You were kind of tall on the back end, and you had kind of a weight forward bias. You had a steep slope as well, all right? So we raised your front end a little higher off the ground, Shove the weight back and increase knee bend to get you balanced by positioning the knees right over the toes. That's a pretty darn good snap and stance. Do me a favor, throw this as hard as you can. That right there is on your way to world class. Does it feel good? Okay, okay you have any questions? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get you back in the group. Feeling good? Yes, your, uh, your setup's looking really solid, except you tend to get a little weight forward occasionally. Okay, let's keep you balanced. Excellent, excellent job. Look at that. Excellent. Now, considering how good your setup is, you could probably afford to get more aggressive with it now without losing control. Throw a little harder. See that? That's wonderful.